Royal Navy acquires HIAUU versus the Royal Navy has made the recent acquisition of unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, from HII. By securing three Remus 100s and five Remus 300s. Procuring these unmanned vehicles marks a shift in the Royal Navy's approach to maritime defense as it embraces technologies for surveillance, with a legacy spanning two decades. The Royal Navy's reliance on Remus UUVs shows the trust and confidence placed in HII's technology. The partnership between HII, the United Kingdom, and other allies shows the global recognition of Remus vehicles in safeguarding maritime interests. Remus 100 is the first of its kind in the industry, with features that enable customers to have increased autonomy and creativity during missions. It is ideal for rapid, low logistics deployments with a maximum operating depth of 100 meters and a mission duration of up to 12 hours, as revealed in Global Data's thematic research on unmanned underwater vehicles. 12 NATO member countries, including the United States, use Remus UUVs. In December 2020, the company delivered new Remus 100 unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, to the German Navy, beyond the transactional aspect, acquiring Remus UUVs represents a shift as traditional strategies make way for other approaches to surveillance, reconnaissance, and mine countermeasures. Equipped with sensors and systems, the Remus 100s and 300s offer versatility, empowering the Royal Navy to adapt to evolving maritime challenges, Dwayne Fotheringham, president of Mission Technologies Unmanned Systems Business Group, aptly captures the significance of this milestone, we are honored to support the Royal Navy in their mission to maintain maritime security. The trust placed in our Remus vehicles by the United Kingdom and other allies is a testament to the quality and reliability of our technology. We look forward to further strengthening our partnerships and contributing to global maritime safety. HII reported a robust fiscal year 2024 FY24, starting with an 18.6% increase in net earnings, reaching $153 million in the first quarter Q1, compared to $129 million in Q1 FY 2023. This growth is attributed to new contract awards totaling $3.1 billion and a 4.9% rise in revenues to 2.8.